Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. This has got to be probably my favorite overworld area thing. Uh, it just looks really cool, very, very fancy. But um, I tried, uh, before recording this, I wanted to try to get rid of that flickering jitteriness. Uh, so I was trying to like mess with the editing op- not editing options, the uh, recording options and uh, see what I could do about that. And apparently, it's not an issue with my capture device. It's an issue with Windows Live Movie Maker because the I was you know lowering the quality of the recording device, which it actually might still be on a lower quality. I'm not even sure if you can notice if it's on if, if it's on a lower quality or not. But um, so I lowered the quality and then I recorded just a couple seconds um, just to see like how it looks and all that. But then <clears throat> ah, got to clear my throat. But um. After doing that, what am I saying? I'm ah no. I'm, why do I always do that? I don't know. Okay, so I lowered the recording quality so that uh, perhaps a lower quality video might not be so jittery or something like that. Uh, and then I did the playback, and it looked like it was fine, like there was no jitteriness or anything. So then I actually watched the video from the file or whatever, and again it looked fine, no no jitteriness. Then I put it in Windows Live Movie Maker, and that is apparently what's making it all jittery. So I can upload the raw footage, and it'll be fine. And then I figured, okay, if I just upload the raw footage, and it's fine. Maybe I can then like download the MP4 uh, off of YouTube, and maybe that'll look fine. But apparently, because there's third-party um, content in the video, I can't download it as an MP4 for some reason. Uh, so I'm not able to do that method or test if that works. So apparently it is just the Windows Live Movie Maker that's causing the problem. And I don't really know how to fix that because it's it's not like some setting or anything. It's just when I put the video in Windows Live Movie Maker, it stops working for some reason. Like, I don't... Or it's not necessarily that it stops working. It's just that it gets all flickery and jittery and stuff. And I don't know why it does that or if there is a way to fix that or anything. I guess I just need a different editing software and maybe that'll fix the problem. But, I mean, honestly, I don't even know if that would work. Um, so for the moment, I guess we just have to deal with the jitteriness. Uh, I would prefer, obviously, if there was no jitteriness and I just lost that gold, that star. I was going to say gold star, but... Anyways, oh no, the green star. Uh, uh oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> um, uh, oh boy, let's see if I can make this jump. I can, that was actually pretty nice. But, um, what was I saying? So we'll just have to deal with the jitteriness uh, uh, for now. And I think I'm gonna wait on posting any more 3D World episodes. Like, I'm gonna finish off, get to World 12 or whatever. Um, but then I'm gonna hold off on posting any more as a different character until I can get, uh, some kind of different editing software. Or a different recording device, because maybe that still is the problem. Um, so I'm gonna hold off on any more videos after that. There should still be three more videos, I think? This is this should be episode eight, so yeah, four more videos uh, for you to watch, and they should all come out this week, because um, today for you should be Wednesday. So then episode nine and ten should go out Thursday and Friday, and I think eleven and twelve might both go out on Saturday, uh, because eleven I think should be a little bit shorter, or twelve should be a bit shorter. Or one of those episodes should be a bit shorter, so I might try to double post, and I just missed a green star already, so I'm gonna have to come back to this level. Oh well. Um, but yeah, so what was I saying? I was saying something that I can't remember now. Um, <laughs> the, the rest of this season, I suppose, of Super Mario 3D World uh, should go out this week, and then I'm gonna hold off on recording another season uh, as a different character and all that, uh, until I get a better recording device or different uh, editing software. Either of those should probably fix the problem, but I think it's probably more on the editing side than the recording side, so that's a thing I'm going to have to wait for or something, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, just letting you know about that. And on this level, I should probably actually talk about the level, uh, it's Plessy's Dune Run or something like that, where, you know, playing as Plessy again, because that's fun for some people. So it's alright, it's just, you know... A little less not fun, I guess. A little less not fun? Is that correct? I don't know. I don't think so. But, um, anyways, just running and... Ah, Luigi, stay still. Ah, oh, I missed the golden flag. Oh, well, I have to come back anyways. Um, so I'll just do that right now. 
So the first star is actually pretty close to the beginning, and ah, keep running into these things. Uh, the first star is right there, and I just need better timing on when to jump on these things, and there you go. It's very simple. I don't know why I missed it the first time. But uh, let's see, can I actually land on this part? I can. Interesting. Not really that interesting, there's, there's no real point to that, but anyways, I'll just skip ahead to the end. And, and that just happened, I guess. <laughs> and that just happened. I, I'm not sure how. Okay, so let's see if I can actually make it this time. Just gonna slide down, nice and easy. Nice and easy, right down the middle. There you go, that's, that's how you do it. Just straight down the middle, bowling. So in bowling, you don't actually want to go straight down the middle. You want to kind of come at it from a side angle. Sort of. Do you know how to bowl? Because I'm actually pretty bad at bowling, so I probably shouldn't actually be giving any advice. And it's not necessarily that I don't know how to be good at bowling, it's just that I, I'm just not, <laughs> for some reason. Like, uh, I don't know, like I just kind of lose my motivation to do anything <laughs> when I'm trying to play. Uh, so I'm always like, oh yeah, I guess I could, you know, try to curve it this way, or do something good that way, and I just, I'm like, nah, just toss it, see where it goes. Doesn't even matter. I don't care about this game once I get to that point. And I'm talking about bowling, not not actually Super Mario 3D World. And I think this is the way I'm supposed to go, so I think I missed something back here, which might be a little bit difficult to get back to, but eh, not that bad. Um, it's up here. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. There's a uh, green star over there. I'm just checking over on this side just to be sure. Maybe there's nothing over there. Okay. Let's just throw a boomerang to get that. Could have just jumped for it, but oh no, that's not good. That's, that's not good. Why? <sighs> okay, now I'm back, and I'm not gonna die like that again, because that was ridiculous. And now I should go up here, which I don't know why I said like that. It was just, it's just going through a pipe. And it's just looking up there, a bunch of prana plants. Nothing to worry about when you've got a, uh, I was gonna say a banana plant, a boomerang plant, boomerang flower thing, boomerang flower. I don't know what to call it, but um, it can actually just kind of time it right so that you only have to deal with. It. Uh, one set of prana plants, and they're not even a big deal. They're just something extra to jump on, basically. I'm not even going to worry about actually finishing those two off. I'm just going to keep going. And you can see that there's a stamp in there. Uh, this is actually my favorite part of the level. Um, this is actually a nice level, but um, I'm not sure why it's all cookie happy themed when you're, you know, in Bowser's carnival circus roller coaster place of doom and destruction and everything, so there shouldn't be any more ants. Just get the stamp right there. And let's keep going. See, now, I didn't actually do that as well as I was hoping I would do it. So, let's see if I can do this next part a little better. If I can just kill... I'm just gonna ignore that guy. Too much trouble. But, um, let's see. Once you get about here, then just hit both of them that way. So you can get a thousand points per throw, basically. Almost. Depends on how well you time it. But, uh, just nice, easy points. Which, again, don't really make a big deal unless you're playing with friends. And then here, this, wow, wow, that was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> okay, uh, this little challenge thing. Um, ah, just gonna keep running and uh, survive on that thing. I, I'm really terrible at describing stuff, <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, so let's see, let's, um, oh boy, that, that was bad. But, uh, I'm actually focusing now, which is kind of good, not, not too great. And then, oh yeah, this thing. Uh, did I miss a green star? No, 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 I did not, um, because, here, uh, I could probably make that. Yeah, just long jump to make that. Or you can jump on that actual cog thing. And then just long jump over here. Very nice to make it. Uh, I really never thought to come up here until I saw someone playing this game and thought, and they thought, like, oh, hey, maybe we can just make that jump. And apparently you can. And uh, just running through these little puffs to get a few more coins. And uh, you may have seen the bunny right there, which I'm actually going to use my boomerang to hit if I can. I'm going to try to hit it with my boomerang. I don't think I can, actually. Um, but let's see if I can actually just catch up with it. Where did it go? It's jumping on the thing. Yeah, I think I can stun it with my boomerang and then just jump on it. Alright, so just get your uh, green star and then just go through the pipe and get back up to where the flagpole is. It's a very interesting place to put a green star on an island that you don't normally think you can jump on and stuff. I don't know. I thought that was a pretty interesting level. It's very odd that it's all cookie themed when it's, like I said, like in the final world, basically. But, um, I don't know, kind of weird. Now, this stage is kind of cool because it's actually, you know, Bowser themed. <laughs> There's an actual train with, like, 
carnival light type stuff on it, I guess. Which, you know, makes more sense than some kind of cookie land. But uh, I get a bunch of coins here for no reason, because again, the coins don't really make much of a difference for me, because, you know, I don't lose lives. And I already missed a green star. That's lame, because uh, I don't think I can actually make it back up there to get it. Uh, I'm going to throw these fireballs. Actually, I, I didn't think they would, um, they would uh, get destroyed. The fireball would get destroyed from that um, spiky rod thing. I don't know what to even call it. I don't even know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm distracted and just disoriented. Disorientated? I don't know what the right word for that would be. And I know, I just... I'm doing so bad this episode. L episode? Say level and episode or something? I don't know. I'm just gonna jump on these guys. Uh, I can't make that jump. Oh, well, just got a green star. Ignore the coins in that, uh, box? Yeah, box, I guess, is what it would be called. Let's just bring these guys over here. Get the fire flower. And I was actually kind of hoping the roller, I guess you could call it, uh, would kill them, but it's fine. Just use the boomerang to actually get rid of these guys a bit sooner. And of course, for some reason, Boomerang didn't want to come back <laughs> fast enough for me to uh, to use it again. So let's see if I can actually beat these guys without jumping off an edge. And I just got hit off an edge, really? These guys have never killed me before. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this. And I don't know why I keep pausing to, to like talk when I'm dead, when I'm so close to the beginning. And might as well just start back over and I just realized why I just paused and stopped and just, nah, words not working. <laughs> why is, why is my words not working? Did, did I just say that? Why is my words not working? <sighs> There's something wrong with me today. <laughs> this recording session, frustration is real. It's already setting in. And, uh, oh, uh, coin block. I didn't realize that was what this was. Um, but of course now I can't. I uh, used my fire flower, just gonna ground pound to get rid of these bullies, and uh, let's see, can I get him off the edge? Yes, I can! Not sure if that was supposed to like spawn a um, a uh, green star or anything, and I was trying to get the power block, but apparently I cannot. This is bad. I'm <laughs> not doing that great on this level. Um, let's see, okay, green star, and of course the, the coins are back there, so I can't actually get them. This is so ridiculous. Why am I doing so terrible at this? I mean, I guess, you know, final... Did I really get hit by the tiny little Goomba? What is going on in this thing? I'm gonna have to rage quit or continue or whatever. Ah, this game is frustrating me. I don't even care about that coin. i ignore that coin. Now I'm gonna have to deal with Pow Pow. And a Kage Bunch of Jutsu. A pink sparkly shuriken, which is a totally dead giveaway. But, uh, ah, that's actually kind of a lot of them. And, uh, come on, there we go. Uh, and no, I did not mean to hit the one that was clearly not the right one. I was just trying to, you know, get over to her, and I really, really gonna, gonna miss on that. And, uh, wow, she was right in the middle. Like, if I had just jumped correctly, I would've... Ah, I don't even, I don't even care. I'm just gonna take, like, a minute just to breathe after this before I jump right back into this madness. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. I, don't, I even missed the time. I'm not even... You know what? Nah, no, I shouldn't risk it. I was just gonna uh, jump at the bottom of the flagpole because I don't even care anymore, but I just don't want to risk not getting the golden flagpole the next time I go through here, so I'm just gonna get it now. I'm just gonna take a moment. I'm gonna breathe. Just remember, it's just a video game. It's like the worst type of consoling you can do to a gamer. <sighs> Okay, let's see if I can make this. I don't think I gave myself enough time to make it. Let's see, don't even care if I get hit, just getting these coins. Let's get these coins, and I'm good. Got it. Got that second star. Gonna, gonna just finish off the level now. See, this time, I don't even care. I'm just gonna get like the least amount of points possible. Don't even care. Don't, just wanna get that Luigi flag like right in the shot. Just be like, good, this is good. Don't even care about how little I am, even after having a fire flower. I'm just gonna deal with it. So in this level, uh, Footlight Lane, it's pretty cool because this like invisible path only shows up when you're like nearby, which is kind of cool. It's not too like intimidating, I guess. You can just walk a little slower, and you'll be fine. Um, but of course, I'm already somewhat familiar with this level, just from, you know, having played it before. Plus, the swamps are pretty helpful with uh, showing you where the stuff is, and 
honestly, I didn't even know that this block was going to be there with a, uh, with a star. I just kind of figured, oh hey, there's this thing where it looks like there would be a block that you would hit that's invisible. And apparently, I suck at jumping for some reason. I don't know what... Okay, maybe this time, I won't jump off the edge for no reason. It's good. Didn't didn't jump off the edge for no reason. So you get a boomerang uh, suit flower thing, but um, that really, did I, I was not trying to jump off, I was trying to ground pound. <sighs> okay, I just realized this was, uh, this is the checkpoint where I just came from. Okay, so, let's just, let's just move on. There's a hole in the middle. Don't, don't walk off into the hole. Don't jump off into the hole. Because that'd be even worse. Because cause that'd just be ridiculous. Why would you just jump off into the middle of nothing for no reason? It's just uh, it's like this green star coin thing. Green key stone car coin whatever. Don't even, don't even care right now. Just gonna, just gonna try to remain calm. Try not to flip out and rage and stuff just because you keep jumping off the edge. And, of course, when I say you, I mean me. Obviously, I'm just gonna just not even care. Just gonna use my boomerang to get rid of that cat block thingy. And oh, look at that! There's a thing here. Did I just? Okay, that was really close. I I'm just killed myself again. Just gonna ignore that. Gonna pretend that didn't happen. And just keep moving on. Just keep moving forward. Be all happy and whatnot. And okay, wait. There's another path. Wait, no. This is the other path. This is the place where I'm not expected to go, kind of. This place is just nice and simple. Just wait for the wait for the swamp. And just get it there. It's nice and easy. Nice and easy. Alright. It's just nice and easy. Just walk. Don't run. Just avoid the cat. Uh, cat bullet bill. You can just out walk them. It's a nice brisk power walk. Don't even care. Don't even care that you just got hit. No deal. Or no big deal. Not, not no deal. See, is any uh? I'm just gonna walk slowly, wait, and then grandpa. That way, I don't just jump off the edge for no reason. That's good. That's good. Little blue invisible blocky path thing. Nothing to worry about. Just a nice little jump. Okay, everything's good. Don't need to freak out. Even though you guys probably enjoy it when I freak out. I kind of enjoy it too. But no, I'm not gonna do it on purpose. Okay. Okay, this level is called Deep Water Dungeon, and for a second there I thought it said Derp Water Dungeon, which would be pretty funny and very different from what it normally is. Anyways, this level, totally, totally real normal, real world physics and all that. You know, just water raising up and down for no apparent reason. It's just, you know, floating blocks of water. Again, no reason, just because. That's totally how life works. I uh, can't change the camera angle. Just wanted to double check, make sure there's nothing in there. And, uh, oh, dang it. I was trying to wall jump so I didn't have to get uh, hit by the spiky thing. Clearly that was not the case. I'm just gonna use this water, or this mushroom and- Nope, that didn't work either. I should- I should stop and just go the normal way. Oh, look, a stamp. I should get that stamp, because that's what I should do. It's normal, normal stuff to do. And, uh, I'm, I feel like right now I'm kind of forcing the, uh, the rageness in my voice, but not entirely. Because this level is still a bit ragey, I suppose, or I'm still feeling a bit ragey, <laughs> not ragey, uh, rage-y uh, from earlier. All that dying and jumping, jumping off walls for no reason, not walls, jumping off ledges. That uh, was close to Antoine to get hit by the spiky thing, since doing so would kill me. Just come on water, there you go, there you go, nice and easy. be nice if I could also get, uh, Get a cat suit as well. Be nice. But I don't think I'm gonna get one soon. Will the water go all the way up? It will not go all the way up, which means that I do need a cat suit to get up there. However, uh, it's not like the same with the others where like it needs a cat suit but it never gives you one. Let's see, is there a like, invisible block over here? Anything? No. Okay, gonna have to come back to this level. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna stay calm. And uh, just hit these little tadpole things, which their eyes look really weird on these tadpoles. Um, and sorry, bless you for bringing it to the wall, but um, as if I should need to apologize to an inanimate, fictional, digital character thing. Anyways, I need Catsuit again to get up there to get another green star or something. Yeah, another green star because I've already got the stamp. But um, alright, 
suits is fine. There's a cat suit, which I'm actually gonna go back with to get that thing. And I'm really glad that those respawn. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been a really terrible, uh, terrible death, basically. But, uh, anyways, get that green star. Is there anything up there? There's not anything up there. I'm just gonna ride this on the way down and then disappear. It's not mine. Okay, let's go. I can do this. I can do this. And what's great about the cat suit is that you don't necessarily need the water all the time. Um, I mean, obviously it's helpful, it's good, but uh, not 100% necessary at all points in the level. So, um, let's just go here. That was probably a bad idea. It's kind of a bad idea, not that bad. I might, ah, uh, dang it, there's a, that was a bad idea, because there's a, a green star up there, and you go in that cloud thingy, which means I need the cat suit to get up there, which means I shouldn't have taken that hit. I'm just going to have to do this again, again, and again, and again, and again. Ah. But, uh, anyways, let's see if I can actually just walk past this and... Oh, look at that! I went up. Didn't actually know that was back there. But it's pretty nice to know that it is, because then I can just, uh... Oh, no, not there. Backflip. Uh, I think I can make that if I... Backflip there. There we go. Gold flag. Don't need to worry about doing that next time I come through here. Which I'm going to have to do real quick. Which is frustrating. I'd like to get through these levels at once. Okay, so that's how you get this green star. Get a cat suit. I'm just gonna just skip ahead to the next one. And of course, I lose the cat suit right before I get to the point where I need it. And I have to come back through this level a third time. Lucky me. And again. I lost the cat suit, so I'm just gonna have to do this level again. Okay, so this time I actually even had one in reserve just in case I got hit again. And I'm just gonna double check up here, make sure there's nothing up here. Okay, there's nothing up here. I'm gonna go in this cloud now, finally. And do whatever this thing is, which I just run. Okay, I just run and jump. Okay, nothing, nothing wrong with that. Just gonna not die while I do this. Preferably, also not lose my cat suit while I really. Did I just, did I just lose on that? Did I? Okay. Not even gonna get that one up. You know, I'm not sure if it's just me, or if it's just that I've reached the point in Mario games where it goes from being like, really, you're spoon feeding me this star so easily, you think this is a challenge, to where it's like, really, I'm struggling so much with this, why am I not pulling my eyes out of my head or something? I don't know why I pull my eyes out of my head, That's, that makes no sense. But you know what I mean? Like, at least for me, in a lot of Mario games, it'll start off pretty easy, like, like really stinking easy. And then it'll just escalate to the point where it's just ridiculous. And I'm like, why am I still playing this game? It's just, ah, it's, it's already 40 minutes into the recording session and I'm on like on the fifth level. Like, really? It should not be taking that long. Now this level, now that I've actually come down a second, uh, is actually pretty cool. Uh, I like this level. Um, a little bit slow, because it's one of those levels where you have to wait for the stage to move. You can't just move at your own pace. But um, it's pretty cool that you can use this light uh, light box thing to actually kill the boos, or the ghosts. Because they're not all boos, technically. And actually, that's kind of interesting, the way that looked. Because it kind of looks like something that I don't know how to describe. But um, let's see. So, just get that one out. And I like that how, even when you're in a box, you can still use your cat powers. And... Um, and there's just a uh, a stamp that only Luigi can get, which is pretty standard. All the all the characters have their own stamp or whatever that only they can get because of the switch or whatever. And uh, let's just wait for this thing to go away. Is it? It should just yeah. There you go. Just disappear and all that. And oh look, in the mirror. What's that? It's a green star. But oh no, I can't get through the mirror. So you got to go backwards and just use the mirror as a guide basically to let you know where you're going. Which is pretty cool. I like that idea. I like the concept. And then uh, just let all these ghosts that are not booze um, 
Uh, I don't think they're boos. I think they're called something else, like pikas or something, or pipas. And then I just realized that, <laughs> you know, it's not a, it's not a ghost. That's just a uh, dry bones, and the light will do nothing to them. Uh, again, like in this level in particular, I keep getting that confused because I keep thinking, you know, the ghost shine the light at them, and then oh no, uh, a dry bones better shine the light at them too or whatever. And uh, is there? Yeah, there's a block right there. Anything else? No, probably not. Anyways, let's just continue on. Um, and since I know that they're not giving me uh, cat suits in this level, uh, I don't need to worry about using my cat suit for anything. Basically, although that's not ha that hasn't been 100% the case but for the most part, that it's been the case like that. And then here it's pretty cool because then it's like, oh wow, we're moving fast and going all zip. Did I say zippity? Zippity? Zap, I don't know what I'm saying. We're going all fast. Not really that fast, but a little faster than normal. And then just finish off these boos, which are. Eh, uh, kind of like Weeping Angels. Sort of. They're kind of like Weeping Angels. Uh, if you know what that is. Uh, what that means. But, um, here you're supposed to find the right door to go in. I'm just gonna cheat and use the cat suit. Okay. Didn't quite cheat. <laughs> uh, just went through the wrong door, even though I had a cat suit. But, um, anyways, then just enter through here. And uh, you can't actually tell when I switch from my cat suit to the Tanuki suit, or vice versa. Um, just because of the box kind of covering most of my body, uh, pretty much all my body, <laughs> but, um, let's see, uh, you can probably tell just from the feet, or just the stance that I'm in, I'm just crawling around, just the box, and, uh, I kind of like and kind of don't like that when you spin, the light sort of stops working, um, so that you can't just spin and, like, cover everything around you with the light, and, uh, ah, that was actually a pretty good, pretty good kill, multi-kill or whatever, Oh dang it, I got hit by him, oh well. Uh, let's just hit the power block, which doesn't actually make a big difference um, with the ghosts. Just gotta jump over them now, rather than actually use the light on them. And, uh, oh dang, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do this. And, oh no, that's not good either, because now I just lost my cat suit. But, um, here, there's a boo that, um, it's a very large boo that I just realized will actually follow you. And, oh dang it, I was too slow. <sighs> Really? And I can't even make that jump. Okay. And I just got hit again. I don't know what it is that's making me mess up so much. And I can't even, really, can't even hit the power block. I just, really. And I, I'm really just impatient with this jump. Don't even care anymore. Don't even care that I lost the light. I'm just uh, okay. Gonna get hit by that too, as well, I suppose. In in addition to all the other terrible things that have been going on, I'm gonna gonna survive that. Yes, I'm gonna survive that one. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for that ghost to make a lot of distance, and then just run past it, and then just go this way and get the green star. Finally made a pass here. Now I'm now I'm in a now I'm in a pickle. Because <laughs> now that ghost is in the way, but then thankfully there's another platform coming up, so I can actually make it through. Okay, I'm not even going to wait for this thing to drop, I'm just going to jump from here and get the golden flagpole and just be done with the stinking level. It's been like practically an hour since I've been recording. I was supposed to record like two or three worlds today. I'm just going to be stuck on this one. And now here's Mystery House Claw Climb, which is actually probably my favorite mystery house just because of how easy it is and just realize that I need cat suits and you get a cat suit from the actual level and then just get the green star and then that's good. And then, you know, you gotta go go get in that mystery box thing and I'm just gonna come up here and ground pound to get a few coins, which I honestly did not know was there. I just kind of assumed. So let's just come back down here and uh, get through the mystery box and move on to the next level. Alright, so this whole mystery house thing is going to be focused around focused around <laughs> around using the uh, the cat suit to climb and stuff, uh, which is pretty cool, um, pretty easy <laughs> as well uh, for the most part. Um, a lot of these are going to be easy, although there's ten of them. So I mean, I'm assuming at least one of them is going to be hard, but who knows? Because I mean, you know, it's Mario. It's a really easy game. You're never going to die ever because it's so easy and. Couldn't possibly take you more than an hour to, to beat one stinking world. That'd be ridiculous. That, don't, don't even get me started. How crazy that'd be. Sarcasm, anger, and stuff. 
So anyways, and this one you gotta break through blocks, which is, you know, so difficult. And just really, can I just, can I just get through? Just, just get through, okay. And uh, now next, another one of these. It's a little bit more difficult than the last one, because now you only have one block to go up, so instead of two, that makes it so much harder. It, it really doesn't, but, and then just, oh look, fire and stuff in the ground. It's just like the other one you just did, except now, you have to go up the middle, and careful, you might fall off into the lava if you're, if you're not good with this game life and stuff, I guess, and I don't know, probably if you're playing this, it's, it's likely that that might happen, but I have no idea. I've never done it. So anyways, final climb. This one is actually really cool. This one I like because these blocks start falling away as soon as you start getting to the top of them and all that. It's a really cool concept, but um, not a very difficult concept. And then, you know, a nice little area for you to be like, yeah, victory, course clear, and stuff, and I'm not going to rage. And now this level, Grumblump, or Grumblump, or however you want to say it, it's actually, it's actually a nice level. I, I'm really happy with this level. It's a really cool concept of, you know, the block moving around, you gotta keep up with it and all that. And a lot of people freak out and just, like, panic and like, oh no, what am I gonna do? I can't, I can't keep up with this thing, gotta jump and, and run and oh no, and it's just like, dude, you just, you just gotta walk, you just gotta take your time, just, might be all calm and stuff, and then, oh look, a fire piranha plant, but, Fire piranha plant can't keep up with you. Your little cat, you just walk and just walk, and then you can jump over here to get green star. But then just, I mean, like really, like it's not that hard. You just gotta walk. You just gotta stay patient and just not freak out. And it looks like you're about to fall off and die and stuff, but you're fine. You can just, you can just walk. You can even do a little spin thing if you want. I did. That wasn't even on purpose. That was just spontaneous. And let's see. It gives you a tanuki suit, which is nice. It's nice, but uh, I'm gonna use a cat suit instead, because then it, it looks nicer, I suppose, because I'm, I'm just, you know, crawling away as a little cat, or something. I don't know. It's gonna not, I'm not gonna rage, I'm gonna, I really thought killing those two would give me a green start, but apparently not. Uh, but anyways, let's just continue on over here, and let's just walk. It's just nice and easy, just nice and easy walk, and then there's a slide. You don't even need to move, you just sit there. And I'll look another, ah, I just got hit by that. But um, here, I'm actually going to get that, and that was actually a little dangerous. But then just jump back onto the block, and then you're good. And you're just gonna, just gonna slide, crawl over here, and then, oh no, that was kind of bad, because you were crawling, or I was crawling. But um, these things, I don't think you can actually hurt them without a boomerang thing, and you can't actually kill them. So I'm just gonna keep walking, keep running, actually, get these uh, green star coin things. And then I uh, get my second green star. And I already got the stamp, which means there's just one more green star to go. And uh, there's another tanuki suit, but I don't use the tanuki suit. I don't use the tanuki suit. And uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna chill, just gonna walk. Very, I, in my opinion, this would probably be considered like one of the easiest levels in the game. Just cause all you gotta do is just nice and easy walk. It's just a nice stroll in the lava park. Uh, and I mean, obviously some people would com not necessarily complain, but um, would say that it's harder. Uh, just because of your panicking and running and jumping and freaking out and clearly that's gonna make it harder But if you just walk nice and easy, then you're good And I mean obviously those enemies might make it a little bit harder, but it, you just need to stay calm I mean that's that's really the biggest thing and uh, because I've got a cat suit I, I don't even care about getting to the top of the slide pole. I can just jump over here and You know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna jump on the wall over here climb up a little bit and then just jump from there and just get on top It's very easy very 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 easy level at the end of this level, which or end of this world, which is very nice. I can just calm down, and just be be chill, in a very lava place. So now it's time for the Motley Boss Blobs Encore, which is pretty cool, pretty nice. Gonna get a Tanuki suit. Not sure what they would actually recommend you have. Probably a cat suit or something. But um, actually, no wait. Uh, I just remembered something. Uh, let's see, cause then that's right. It gives you a double cherry. And then I think over here, it gives you something? Apparently not. Okay, I thought those numbers were wrong. Maybe on this side, perhaps? Maybe? Probably wrong? Yeah, I was wrong. Okay, so the good thing the platform comes back for me. Uh, then I can just come through here and just spin, 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 spin. And um, actually use my tail whip thing, which isn't actually supposed to use actually any damage. But anyways, uh, here's a Motley Boss Blob thing again, using its Motley Boss Blobness. Boss Blob stuff, and it's golden, so that's cool. And uh, this time I actually get to start off with an extra copy, Akagi Bunchin, 
Is that what it would be called? Kage Munchin? But, um, I would think that's what it would be called, but, um, dang it, I already lost it. <laughs> but, um, I already got another one as well. Um, because now, the thing that makes this boss blob even harder, uh, even motlier, I suppose, <laughs> is that it makes shockwaves, uh, whenever it lands. Um, so, oh wow, I actually kept that one. Um, so then because of the shockwaves, it can be kind of hard to land without taking any damage. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually just, actually that was a bad idea, uh, clearly, um, to just go back and forth because then all the shockwaves are really close to each other and I'm going to die. Um, okay. Although I actually just killed him, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm actually going to get a cat suit so that can back to full life, basically. Um, pretty good. Pretty good at this game. Um, <laughs> just get that, uh, get that green star. I'm going to get all these coins just because they're there and because I have the clone, so it makes it nicer and easier, I suppose. Um, I really don't care how many lives I have, because I have 90 lives, uh, so that's more than enough to finish this game. Um, the good thing about how easy it is at the beginning of the game is that- oh, oh my clones are all messed up now. But um, what's, what's good about it being easy at the beginning of the game is that then you can accumulate a bunch of lives, so that when it's harder near the end, um, you know, uh, when it's harder near the end, then you actually have a bunch of lives that you can rely on. Which is nice. V very, very nice of Nintendo to do. And now it's time for Histocrat to make his return, or, or her return, or something. I'll explain in a second. But um, this is the one where it gives you a little cat suit as a backup, and I'm actually going to get that backup cat suit because I don't actually have anything else in reserve. Um, and I have a feeling I might get hit, but I don't really think I'm going to get hit. And again, I do the thing where I jump too early. I always think the momentum is going to carry me, but apparently not. Uh, so let's see. Now it's Mrs. Tocrat. Mr. Crat? Instead of Mr. Crat or something? I don't know. Anyways, uh, so then this fiery doom and stuff. Uh, and then, of course, the normal snakes. I was about to call them lizards for some reason. But, uh, normal snake nonsense. And, um, just gonna pounce on her head again. No real reason. Doesn't actually do anything. I need to actually get out of there before she comes up, because then that would actually hurt me. I'm just gonna crawl around nice and easy. Kind of like that grumblump lock thing. It's gotta be. Just gotta stay calm. Just. Just be calm, guys. Be cool. Be cool. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just, just a little jump. Jump around. Jump up and up and, and get down. I guess. That was kind of a reference to something, but not entirely a reference. I mean, it was a it was a quote from a song, kind of, but, you know. Anyways, uh, let's just jump up here and then just take her down like that. Very easy boss. Very, very easy boss. Especially easier than Motley Boss Blob. And I don't think especially easier is actually the right way to say that. And I'm not even going to care about those coins. I'm not even going to get them. Because I don't have a clone. So it's not going to be as easy. You know, it's going to be totally easy anyways. I'm just going to ignore them. Because, uh, I mean, now I'm back up to 91 lives. So, I mean, come on. This game is totally easy. I don't know. I don't know why anyone would have any problem with this. Very simple game. So, um, let's just... Oh, okay, that was close. <laughs> I almost got to the bottom of the flagpole. Which would not give me enough room to actually climb up to the top. You do actually need to make some distance towards the top of the flagpole in order to get to the top. But anyways, um... Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it for that little boss battle thing. Very easy. Very, very easy. And now it's time to take on the Great Tower of Bowser Land, which is probably one of my favorite final level type things. It's really cool. Uh, very nicely done. That was a really cool lightning bolt thing. Not sure why it, you know, stayed the way it was or whatever, but uh, I like that you can actually attack his car. It's pretty nice. There's nothing actually in there, I don't think. Hope not, <laughs> because I'm not going to go in there or anything. Uh, you can actually sit in the seat, though. Um, and I'm not going to jump out of this too early and assume the momentum is going to carry me further than it actually is. I'm going to wait for it to actually end. Alright. And then, of course, for some reason, it's just random fire. No good reason. Just some random reason, apparently. But, um, just avoid the fire. Uh, there's a fire bro right there that, of course, that was included in the fire that I was supposed to avoid, but... Apparently I did not avoid it, and of course, just jump into the fire, that's fine too, apparently. Um, and let's just jump on that guy as well, and then I think there's supposed to be, yeah, a green star down here. Yep, and uh, I just heard the jingle of it, I don't, can I make it, okay, there we go, I was gonna say, can I make it back up there without a cat suit? But um, apparently I can, because of that invisible lock thing, just go down this tunnel. It's a very interesting tunnel, I don't know why it just doesn't start off right there, make it more simpler, blah blah blah. Anyways, um, oh, wow, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the one that I was going to hit to have the cat suit. I'm just going to get rid of these um, cat goombas, not sure what the uh, actual name for those would be. And uh, then here, just get rid of these bullies, going to knock them off the side, very nicely. 
and uh, I'm actually going to knock this one off that side, just to be sure that it's actually gone, rather than like hitting it off onto another platform. Um, and I can actually just walk into that one, knock it off, and it actually just landed onto another platform. Landed onto another platform? Is that the right word? Is the right way to say that? I don't think it is, but um, anyway, it's gotta wait till I can get back up here and then knock not that way because that's onto another platform like I was trying to not do. Uh, what about that one? Yeah, now it's gone, and that gives you a green star right there in the middle, which is pretty nice. And um, let's see, just get that one there, and then I'm just gonna wait to get all the way back up to the top so I can do whatever it is that I do up here. Oh, that's right. There's this. Um, there's this. Not block, or it is block. I was gonna say wall, not wall. It's a block. Uh, and then Captain Toad, you're not in any danger. I can't do anything to help you. You're not gonna give me anything. You're just gonna stand there and feel accomplished for some reason, even though you really didn't do much. And now I'm on my way to the Great Tower of Bowserland, which is the name of this level. So I guess this whole thing is technically the Great Tower. But now we're actually at the Great Tower, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool place. I almost jumped off the edge like I've been doing this whole stinking episode. Okay, very nice looking tower. And then Bowser somehow survives that massive fall. Probably shouldn't survive that massive fall. And oh look, he has a cat belt. What's this? He's putting the cat belt on his neck belt thing, leash thing, jig? I don't even know what that's called. And then apparently he turns into Cat Bowser, also known as Meowser for some reason. Very odd, but he's he looks a little less intimidating at some point when he first appeared, but then it's like, oh hey, that that actually looks kind of intimidating. Now one thing, definitely gonna give Nintendo a hand uh, hand for it, like a you know clapping and it's gonna do it right now, just a little clap right there, get the probably clap a little bit more later. But um like the final boss level thing of this game is actually more of a platformer than an actual like action-y boss fight thing. Which you may have remembered me complaining earlier about how easy the action boss fighting is in this game. So that's why here, instead of like an actual boss fight, you just have to, you know, survive this little platform challenge thing and uh, get the green star while you're at it, uh, which is pretty nice, pretty easy. Uh, I mean, you know, this isn't a terribly difficult boss battle fight thing, but um, it's gonna wait, go through pipe now, and just come out on this side. Um, so yeah, it's not terribly difficult, but I mean, at least it's more of an actual platformer than uh, an actual action game. Because, I mean, you know, as you can tell, the rest of this game has not been very action-y. At least not very good action-y. Uh, so then here I'm just actually going to wait uh, for Bowser to unleash his fire, his purple, pinkish fire. And uh, the camera's actually moving me closer. I I'm not even sure... Okay, it'll stop here. But then, it's pretty cool. He's, he's, he's a pretty cool guy. And then just get the power block and... Nope, that's the end of that. Just gonna <laughs> get rid of Bowser. Pretty easy. Uh, but again, it's more focused on the actual platforming and actual action. And oh, what? He's back? You mean that wasn't the end? Oh my gosh, I'm so surprised. And uh, clearly, I'm not. I, I was I was trying to make it seem like, oh no, what was that red flash? Oh look, there's Bowser again. And oh look, there's another Bowser again. Uh, it's the double chair. He just, he just used the double chair. He's using the two items that are unique to this game or new to this game or whatever, which I think is pretty awesome. I, I, ah, again, I give Nintendo props for that. Um, and I'm just waiting and waiting and I feel like I'm gonna get hit. I was about to get hit because, uh, Bowser's gonna break out of there, or Meowser, I guess I should call him. Uh, I'm just gonna climb up here and, oh no, Bowser's on that side as well. Uh, I'm just gonna swing on this to avoid Meowser. Um, and again, you can see that there's cracks in the walls for where he's gonna pop out of. And uh, he's taken more than one double cherry, that's for sure. Because uh, there's a lot more than two of them. Um, and let's see, just gonna wait for him to break through, swing his tail, and jump across to the other side. And oh no, he's gonna claw. Oh dang, he got me, even though I was below him and oh no that was close <laughs> I almost died but um alright now begins the real tower ascent because I'm going up the stairs so I guess for some reason that makes it more of a tower ascent than normal I don't know but uh, I'm actually going to try to hurry through here because right here uh he breaks through and uh it's kind of difficult to get past him if you don't get past him before then and especially for right there as well I'm trying to get ahead of him uh ahead of the camera because of how difficult he can be at times like that. 
Uh, anyways, just climb up here. Now this part, again, I give Nintendo props for this. This looks pretty cool when you're not just dashing ahead and you know what you're doing. Like, this is pretty cool. I'm actually expecting those bottom two to actually fire, but they're not, apparently. So just, oh, hit the power block. And is he gonna do anything different? Or anything? No? Pretty much the same? Just hit the power block again. It's a very cinematic moment. I mean, I really like I'm, I'm drawing this out on purpose. It's, it's really cool. I know it's been a long episode already. And, oh no, I'm running out of time. Okay, uh, ah, I, why am I not doing the thing? Okay, there we go. Not sure why I wasn't, you know, jumping correctly. And slow mo, no, Bowser, ah, explosion. Good ending stuff. Not that there's a bad ending, but just, you know, yay! Explosive fireworks now! Or right now! Or right now! Okay, there you go. <laughs> I was terrible at timing that. But, um, yeah, it's been an hour and 12 minutes almost for my recording session right now. Just gonna take it nice and easy. I'm glad all the rage fail stuff happened beforehand, and then this final battle, uh, excuse me, uh, this final battle went off very smoothly. And there's some more time, so I'm not in the red. Nice and easy. Don't even mind that I don't have a cat suit. I think I might still have one in reserve. I don't think so. Never mind. Yeah, I don't have one in reserve. But, um, get the stamp right there in case you were wondering if I missed it. Can I actually ground pound here? Figured maybe there'd be some coins or something. Apparently not. But, um, let's run over here. Just explore the area. Take your time. Even though, again, this has probably been a pretty long episode. And then, oh, all the Sprixies are safe this time because I actually got rid of Bowser for good and didn't just make him claw at the screen or whatever. So, anyway, it's just gonna take a nice little running start just to be safe. Final flagpole of the world. Got it golden. Have all three green stars and the stamp. First try, mind you. I think. I didn't die, did I? <laughs> Pretty sure this is the first try. Um. Huzzah! Yay! Finale! Stuff! Um, I kind of want to just leave the credits rolling, but I kind of don't want to just leave the credits rolling. I kind of want to just end it, but um, let's see. Course clear. Time is up and stuff. I don't know why I said time is up, but um, let's see. Does it show like the stamp screen or anything? No? Alright. So now it's just going to go through the credits, and I'm actually just going to skip the credits? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip the credits, because that's just gonna take up a bunch of time. I'm not actually doing anything, and yeah. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.